Hi viewers, hi everyone, welcome to AIM Technologies. Today I am going to explain you about Second PUC Computer Science HTML Practicals. Before starting Second PUC HTML programs, I want to discuss you about what is HTML, where we have to write the code, and where we can where we can get the result these and all things first how first we have to write a html program in text editors for example notepad is one text editor how we have to start text editor click on or press on start start button then you can select a notepad from this list if you don't find anything here means here also you can type notepad just press enter select ok like this you can open notepad so html is nothing but hypertext markup language So first program is first program written by Tim Berners-Lee. Is the first program of programmer of HTML. why we have to use this html means to create web pages or to design web pages we have to use html html is the basic language for designing web pages where we have to write code in text editors we have to write the code ok text editors for example text editors is nothing but it's a platform to write the code example notepad okay note plus plus also is there like that we have different text editors okay next uh, where we will get the result or the output of the program means we will get the output on web browsers web browsers are, n are nothing but where we can able to see the web pages or websites for example internet explorer Google Chrome Mozilla Forex Opera Mini etc etc next so in notepad we have to write the code and we uh, we will get the output on web browsers like uh, google chrome mozilla forex internet explorer these and all things next uh, it contains tags only html contains tags only 
the next uh, in the uh, it is a not case sensitive language means we can write in small letters or capital letters also there are two types of tags So these tags won't display. These tags won't. Or we can call as. container tax also these are empty tax for example HTML here we have one opening tag and one closing tag so it means these are uh, this is a dependent tag which is following by the closing tag okay the difference between opening tag and closing tag is forward slash okay so for example for example for independent tags break tag is there that is empty tag okay next uh, to write a basic program there is a structure uh, there is a structure html starting tag should be there and HTML closing tag also should be there next in between these two tags we have two sections one is header section another one is see header section head tag is a dependent tag which is followed by closing tag also okay next uh, one more part is body one more section is body section okay next it is also dependent tag followed by closing tag body closing tag so this is the basic structure of the HTML to write a program program of our second PUC HTML first program okay for the what is the first program write a HTML program to create a study timetable okay suppose if you want to display this line you have to use like this okay open bracket exclamation mark and uh, to iPhones okay at the end of the comment also to iPhones closing bracket so it means it will consider the text as a comment it won't uh, display on web page okay so now I, now I am writing the code in notepad so you have to write like this if you are using HTML5 version if you want to use okay so like this this doc type should be in capital letters and here you have to write HTML so it means the document type is HTML okay so after this the basic code of HTML is HTML opening tag HTML closing tag in between these two tags there are two sections one is header section and one one more is body section header section and body section these two are dependent tags see here this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag so it means it is a dependent tag 
this one also opening tag and closing tag is there that is also dependent tag now I'm going to save this file okay while saving you have to mention if you are without uh, mentioning any extension extension means uh, the secondary name the f this is the file name this is known as the file name or primary name also you can call if you mention dot txt means that is the secondary name means the secondary name itself this uh, itself representing what type of file is this okay now if you mention dot txt means it is a text file if you mention see here what will happen if you mention dot txt or otherwise if you didn't mention anything means it will consider by default it will consider as text file only okay so now if you go there means see here this is the second pc text file open if you open means you will get the text in notepad itself only okay for example if you don't if you want to get whatever you are going to write in this program so if you want to get that text means you have to save with the file name not dot txt you have to mention dot html okay see if you choose the sa save as type dot txt means you will get that file again as text uh, as uh, notepad file only for that you have to choose all files you can mention in that dot html you have to write otherwise you can mention here dot html the file name with uh, dot html or dot htm like that you can use if okay uh, then see this is for html program only if you are if you are uh, writing some CSS code also means you have to select here UTF-8 first we will see as a HTML program for that no need to select this UTF by default there will uh, the, there will be ANSI only okay just save this one okay so now if you go to that folder means there will be one file uh, with the, the type of the file is see we have a second PC here also here also but this is a text file if you open this one means you will get in notepad only this is the hash this is the HTML file if you click means you will get that whatever the uh, text you have mentioned in the HTML programs you will get in uh, web page okay so this is the web page the web pages will be display or uh, we, uh, we can open the web pages on web browsers only now I am using to display web pages uh, Google Chrome I am using okay by default the file name will be displayed here okay suppose if you want to give some uh, if you want to give some uh, title means you can you have to write you, you have to use title tag okay for every pur purpose there is a one tag there will be one tag okay title tag suppose I want to display there uh, second PUC computer science okay you have to close the title tag next whenever you are writing something in that program you have to update by pressing control yes or you can choose save option in file menu also okay so next uh, it won't display here whatever you have updated by default file name will be there if you want to update if you have updated in notepad only suppose if you want to get whatever you have updated in notepad you have to refresh the web page by pressing this option okay otherwise you can press shortcut key f5 function also now you go wha what we have got here 
second PC computer science that is what we have we have written in notepad or we have written in HTML program in title tag ok next suppose our program is to create a study timetable ok for that we have to create one table first we will write one line my study timetable for the week ok whatever you are you are going to display in this body this is the body of the web page and this is the head header of the web page whatever you want to display here you have to write in header section whatever you want to display in the body of the page web page means you have to write in body section ok we will keep these two side by side ok next now I want to display some text like uh, my study timetable for the week ok S again I am pressing ctrl s here I have to refresh so I got that text whatever I have written in body section ok suppose I want to display this text in center now I am uh, uh, the text is aligned left side ok S suppose I want to display that text in center means I have to use center tag ok and at the end closing tag center closing tag we have to mention or we have to write ok next uh, again I am updating this one means you can press control yes so it become in the middle of the web page now I want to display this text big size in big size for that I have to write one more tag h1 tag means heading one heading one tag closing see here center uh, while writing your while writing tags you should you should remember one thing whatever the tag you are writing the you are writing the which which tag you are using from first of the uh, that particular text you should use as next of the particular text so from this text the h1 is the second tag from uh, right side also it should be second tag ok the center is the first tag after the text the center is the first tag before the text the heading one is the second text after the text the heading one is the second tag like this you should uh, you should remember ok like this you have to write ok this this is the proper manner next ok now it become a very big size next after this if you want to give color to apply some color for this text we can use font tag in font tag we have one attribute color the property you have to give like this in double quotes because this is the text for that you have to write in double quotes in font tag we can use color attribute by using that you can give the property of the color as blue ok so that should be in double quotes so then it will become blue next if you want to write something here like a beautiful sunrise we can write before that you can use center tag to display that uh, heading in the center of the or center alignment you can align with the help of this 
center tag next if you want to display this uh, heading little big size means you can use h2 tag h2 closing tag okay after this suppose if you want to insert some image means you can use image tag img so source is one of the attribute of that image tag okay src is equals to in double quotes wherever you have that images you can go you can go there and you can choose the right click choose properties in that you can in location you have to copy that address of the image okay in source attribute you have to mention that property then backward slash after this you have to copy the name of the file and the type of the file rs2 is the name of the file dot jp is the type of the file you have to mention there okay copy So C is equals to copy paste here backward slash copy paste okay next in that image tag only to apply uh, okay first we will see this one okay press control S refresh here height and width there are two more attributes width is equals to three not four and height is equals to 228 okay now press control s and then refresh here images okay double quotes you have to give here okay to that part you have to give double quotes refresh here control s okay we got that image we can give the borders also for that image okay border is equals to one okay press control s and refresh here okay we have slightly we have got that border okay next um, suppose if you want to insert one table we can use the table tag table opening tag table closing tag okay so in that table again I have some six rows for that six for one row for, for one row we have to open one op we have to write one tr opening tag tr closing tag so like that we have some six uh, seven rows we have first we will create one one row okay so in that one particular row we have six cells for each cells if it is normal if you want to display as a normal text means you can use td if you want to display as heading means you can use th okay so th opening tag th closing tag i want to display here yeah, for each cell as heading means you have to use th, th opening tag th closing tag like that some six cells we want for that six times we can write as table th tag we can write one to five 
six control s and refresh here nothing is there that's why it is not showing we will give border here in table opening tag equal to one border is one control s and refresh here so some one row came in that one row we have six cells nothing is there that's why it is showing like that suppose i want to give heading here like days okay in next cell so for each cell if you want to display as heading you have to use th opening tag th closing tag in one row we have six headings that's why six uh, six heading tags i have used okay days in next cell subjects okay in next another cell morning study time only reading okay in another cell college study time in next cell evening study time writing okay in next cell question paper solution time only writing okay so these are the headings of the cells okay for that th tag i have used for every heading cell now i'm pressing control s and i refresh here so we got that headings in each cell these are the headings days subjects morning study time only reading college study time evening study time writing question paper solution time only writing okay like this we have got here and next uh, for remaining for remain for example for remaining rows we can copy and paste this for one row we have uh, write like this for one row for remaining rows we can copy copy and paste this one so in the days i am mentioning monday okay and subject is language one okay next the time is 5:30 to 6:30 am next 8:30 4 pm in next cell 6 6 to 8:30 pm okay in next cell Eleven PM. Okay. Press Control S and refresh here. So we got that one. Next, for remaining cells, we can copy this uh, this row. Okay. like this we have some five uh, remaining five rows are there for that we will copy and paste two three four five okay five times i paste that one monday is over next tuesday the timings will be same for remaining cells that's why i'm not uh, doing any modifications in that timings Tuesday 
language to okay next wednesday okay next uh, in wednesday optional one the subject is optional one so after that Thursday. The subject is optional two. Or we will copy this one. Next Friday. Optional three. Next Saturday. For Saturday, optional two and language one. Okay. Now I am pressing Control S refresh here so for all we have got in bottom of this table i want to display some text means i can write text here i will remove this space okay after table i want to display some text as enjoy life as a student So press Ctrl S, refresh here. So we got the text here. I want to scroll this text. For that, I can use marquee tag, marquee opening tag, okay, marquee closing tag. At the end of this text, marquee closing tag. In this marquee tag, we have one attribute like direction is equals to right. Okay, the property is text because of that we have to mention that property in double quotes. Press Ctrl S. So see here the text is scrolling from left side, uh, from right side. Thank you viewers for watching this video. Please subscribe for more videos. Please subscribe my channel for more.